everybody, it's Caroline Raven. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing another deck review. Last week I did a preview review slash please come buy my shit here on YouTube and it has been a crazy week you guys. If I haven't already replied to your email or to your comments, please don't be mad at me. It's been insane. It was my birthday and I went out and it was crazy and it was so many things that I wish I didn't do. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I love having my birthday. It's like the best day of the entire year. As you know because I'm very self-centered. Am I? Am I really? I don't really. Am I? I don't know if I am. Am I? Anyways, so today we're doing another deck review but before that let's just talk about just just briefly about the fact that USPCC is now with Carta Mundi. Isn't that amazing? For me, who produce playing cards, I think this is great because USPCC, they have really good quality and they're perfect for a lot of things, but their cutting isn't great. With Carta Mundi, amazing quality, amazing service, and their cutting is perfect. Like every time you see a deck from Carta Mundi, you're gonna be like, ah, oh, this is precise. Or as I say, Jeer's size, because Jeer's is my favorite person alive. Anyway, so let's just say a big congratulations. To Carta Mundi and for USPCC to actually do this together. I think that's a brilliant idea. Well, I am super excited for it, so you know, it's, it's gonna be great. So the deck we're gonna be reviewing today is this thing. Don't really know how to hold it. Uh, is it, is it like this? I don't know. Daniel Madison playing cards says that it's deck one. Hasn't he done like way more? They are manufactured by Carta Mundi as we can see here on the bottom. Before I go any further, I should probably say that I am not recording on my normal camera. So if it feels like I don't really know what I'm doing, if I don't know if anything is in focus, it's because I don't know. Because right now I'm recording on the back camera of my iPhone. I had to do the same thing last week because my camera is broken. I, I have four cameras at home. I took photography and astronomy, which makes me not just pretty. But I have the other cameras, but they are not as good as my iPhone XS Mac, because obviously it's like really good. Uh, and also they don't have the screen where you can just flip it, you know? So I, let, let's hope this works. So if something is out of focus or if it feels out of framed, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. Let's get back to this deck. The front looks like this and the back looks like this. Well, I guess this is the front because here's the flap and so I would like to, well, you know, it's, it's probably like this. Maybe they did it the wrong way or maybe they didn't. I don't really know. So magic is dead apparently and we have Charlie. Oh, Charlie's like a melody in my head that I can't keep out. Got me singing like na 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 every day. It's like my iPhone stuck on replay. Replay. So on the bottom it says Madison playing cards by Daniel Madison. Deck one manufactured by Carta Mundi in Belgium. The box is very standard, but it doesn't really feel super cheap because the red is super deep on this. On the top, we also have Charlie. So when we open up the flap, it looks like this. It's a reveal here, so it's the four apart. It's like that. Everything is turned upside down for some reason. Uh, nothing on the side flap. Let's open them up. There's so much to talk about here. Okay, this is the B9. So this is the back design. Really beautiful, I think. Very simple in a way. We have Charlie and we have the M inside. I actually think this looks really good for a normal deck of cards. I think these look great, to be honest. I've always liked the simplicity on this. So this is the Joker. Uh, it has a reveal down here. It says Nine of Clubs. Oh, I'm just kidding. There's two of them. Wasn't that fun. It is the same reveal, the Nine of Clubs on both of them. And there's also where to find his stuff. So it's danielmadison.cu.uk. A little Addy. <laughs> Error here. So annoying. And there are two extra cards, which is perfect for this. We have an extra nine of clubs and we have an extra king of diamonds. And this is the ace of spades. Isn't this gorgeous? Like, I really like how the bird is coming back. Well, it's a raven, so I mean, I obviously like it. I love how it flows together with everything else. You can also see the spade inside. And I think it's really cool how you see Charlie's foot here and it kind of goes in like that, so it creates the bottom of the spade. I think that's really nice, really nice touch. So the deck is semi-custom. Most of them are normal faces. So the pips are all normal, as you can see here, but some of the faces for the court cards has been changed. So this one I'm guessing is Daniel himself. So I think this is really cool. It's not, it's not too changed or anything. It really looks like a normal Jack of Diamonds, but if you look really closely, you can see that there's a reveal for the Nine of Diamonds in here, and there's also the logo in this hand. Do you see that? I really hope this can be in focus that would be amazing and it's actually like that on both of these which is really really nice this is perfect for magic you guys oh i found something on here uh, we have inside the swords it says the nine of spades on both sides it is so little that you kind of don't see it at first and that's something that i really appreciate because then you can actually use the deck for something more than just being out you know performing and doing shit well did i just say doing shit when you're doing magic well i did let's take a look at this fan 
I think this looks really, really good, actually. So lately I've been playing with a lot of different decks, and first I was like, oh, the B9, oh, it's not great, it's not perfect. The more I play with it, I kind of feel like they are actually growing on me. See here, it actually looks really, really nice. Oh yeah, these are amazing. I absolutely love how Cartamundi do these things. This is so nice, so satisfying. Yeah, they are great. Well done, Cartamundi, well done, Daniel Madison. And also something that's really nice with the B9 is not that. That is not what's great. Okay, well, I'm gonna do it again. This is what's great with the B9. And, and I dropped it. There we go. They get a little more swoosh to it. I don't really know how to say that, but it's kind of swooshy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I really think they did a great job on this deck. It's beautiful and it sounds great and it's it feels great. It's a very nice deck for magic without having, you know, all too gaffy things. Because we have the reveals on some of the cards, and if you're not looking super close, you're not gonna see it. So when you're outperforming, you could definitely do this without even using or considering the reveals at all. And I think that's amazing. I don't really like that there is two of these with the website and the same reveal, and it doesn't say Joker anywhere. I would really like it if this was in fact a joker. Uh, I really like the red, I really like how they changed some of the faces and so it's absolutely beautiful, like really 10 out of 10. But for me it drags it down when you don't use the full potential of the 56 card. Definitely a deck I would use, I would definitely use this for magic, I would use it for cardistry, for close-up, for stage. Really beautiful and it's perfectly cut. It's great. Absolutely beautiful. It uses the B9 stock from Cartamundi. If you're not a fan, well, you know. Well, that was it for this week's review. I hope you enjoyed it. Every week, I am reviewing a deck of cards. Here we are. And I am giving it away the next day. I realize now that I didn't pick a winner for last week because, well, it was my birthday and I was, you know, I was having a good time. Let's just say that, okay? So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is to comment something that you liked about this video in the comment section below. So it's a 24-hour giveaway. So you just enter and I will get back to you if you did win. So if you do like this, please give it a thumbs up and write something down here to enter the giveaway and why not subscribe because I mean this is fun. I will see you guys back in a week. Bye!